Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, I have pushing truth and sincerity. The water for y'all do, we love you. We appreciate you through the spirit of y'all, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom. Hey, it's your brother Dawud Dad here, uh, Abarat Tazar, meaning Father's will, giving you an edifying lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And um, it's going to be a, a lesson, you know, about the Mark of the Beast um, update. I'm play a quick video for you. And um, yeah, you know, it's talking about something that I'm pretty sure everyone's forgotten about it this real ID. And. I mean, they're telling people, you know, they got to get this real ID now. Um, but they're also, I mean, they're saying that you have up to a year. All right. But this is, we know what this is, man. You know, 2019 year of Karagma. All right. This is pushing out the market of beasts. All right. And something might happen where they might have this thing happen before a year. All right. It's supposed to be uh, implemented on October, but of 2020. <laughs> well, something could happen where... You know that that that'll um, they'll push it up, man. They'll push it up to this year. You know, I brought this up. You know, something happens where you know that pushes you know the time that way we can get up out of here even sooner. All right, so I'm gonna play the video now. This is a uh, market of beast uh, year to Karagma update. Turning now to an NBC exclusive, TSA officers will begin warning passengers at airports today that they might not be able to continue to fly. Don't update their ID. This new update to security is because of a delayed law in Congress. That I'll slack you. Going off. It's finally going to take effect. Tom Costello is with us now to break this down. And Tom, could you explain how is this ID different from, say, using your driver's license or your passport? Well, so here is license and states across the country are really all under the rules, under the law that they have to comply with this. There's a star up here. Can you see it up there in the tiny yep. right hand corner? Uh, that means this is a real ID and I'm putting my hand across the rest of it because it belongs <laughs> to a guy behind me. But uh, the bottom line here is that every state in the country is under orders now to come up with real ID compliant uh, licenses and you'll need this, uh, an, uh, an ID like this, if you're going to travel as of... Yeah, so pay attention. Oh, the key word he's using is... um every state is under um law all right every this is being all these acts are being passed without your without your knowledge all right now they they implemented this law around um i forgot what year but right you know post 9 11 but they didn't really tell people you know like what they were going to be doing you saw sneaky man you know so-called white man Esau is sneaky man with the way they do things the way they push their way for a major event to happen they wait for uh, the holidays to come around. They wait for um, you know, All Star Weekend or um, the NBA Finals and whatnot to come around, or or, or or the Super Bowl in order to push these laws that people have no knowledge about. So notice that he said that all the states are under the law <laughs> to to be in compliance with these. You got to be in compliance. The, the word that he used was being in compliance. All right. So that's hey man. Soon it's gonna be mandatory that you have to get these um IDs. All right, these real, I they call them real IDs. All right, but they're saying you have to get them before October or by October. Let's keep listening. Can you see it up there in the tiny yep. right hand corner? Uh, that means this is a real ID, and I'm putting my hand across the rest of it because of long time hate. But uh, the bottom line here is that every state in the country is under orders now to come up with real ID compliant uh, licenses. And you'll need this, uh, an, uh, an ID like this, if you're going to travel as of October 2020. You've got 13 months to get all of your documents. So listen to what he says carefully. Every state is under orders for you to get a real ID compliant ID all right they, they call it a real ID compliance all right you have to comply to the orders that they set forth for you all right that's showing you that the uh, the so-called white man rules the world all right and that and they want to be um uh up um that's um what uh omnipotent uh, I'm omnipotent Right, because they want to, uh, you know, rule the war and keep track of people, man. 
omnipotence. I think. All your documentation together and to submit that documentation to your local DMV new real ID compliant license. Now you may say, wait a minute, my license doesn't expire for a few years. Okay, sorry, but if your license isn't real ID compliant, you have to have a real ID compliant ID or you will not be able to board an airplane in the United States, even if you're just going from one city to another in the States. See, and that, and that proves to you that you're a slave. That proves to you people that you're not free. You see what I'm saying? That's the proof. Of, what more proof do you need that, that, that you're not free and that you're a slave? All right, you have a social security number. All right, and they're telling you if you don't have the compliance IDs that they want you to have, you can't do, you can't go nowhere. And soon that's what it's going to be. You're not going to be able to do anything, man. They're going to lock down the cities and they're going to tell people if you don't have these real IDs, you can't go anywhere or you can't get any food or buy or sell. Now, soon they're going to try to put those inside of your body, all right, uh, via RFID microchips. Finally going to take effect. Fuck you. Two years. Okay, sorry, but if your license isn't real ID compliant, you have to have a real ID compliant ID or you will not be able to board an airplane in the United States. Even if you're just going from one city to another in the States, you will not be able to board it unless you maybe have a passport or a military ID. So this is now all part of this post 9-11 law that has taken mm -hmm. effect and finally will take a uh, formal effect on October 1st of 2020. But he here's the caveat. Okay. To get your driver's license, real ID compliant, you have got to go to your DMV and bring a whole bunch of documentation. For example, existing driver's license, passport, a paycheck, a mortgage bill, a utility bill, <laughs> a social, anything with your oh social security number on that's, that's there, right. a, a military ID. Uh, if you have changed your name, maybe you got divorced or you got married, you got to bring certification, a marriage license or the divorce certification. So you need to have four pieces of documentation to prove that you are who you say you are. And then you're not, probably not going to get your license on the spot. They will mail it to you. So this is a long process and they're trying to give everybody a heads up. The TSA starting today is telling people in line, sir, ma'am, I'm sorry, but while your ID will get you through the line, today it won't in about a year and a month so start planning now to get your new id yeah tom i was just gonna say it sounds like it might take a year and a month to get that done we all know how much fun it is to go to the dmv i remember yeah. when this first came up i don't know a year or so ago i had just gotten my license renewed and said no way am i going back so you say people though if they don't want to yeah, deal with it right. you can use your passport yeah, you can. Okay. You, listen, here's the problem, though. Who, who would think you need a passport to fly to Wichita, right? right exactly. <laughs> but you may have to. If you can't get your real ID compliant I, uh, license, you may have to pull out the passport. Gosh, Tom Costello. All right. This one sounds like quite a production. But just a reminder for people, even though they're saying it to you today, you still have over a year to deal with it. You're okay for now. You got 13 months. <laughs> get your act together. And don't show up on September 30th. You'll be really sorry if you did. <laughs> All right. Tom Costello yeah. in D.C. Thank All you right. very much. You bet. Hey man, so Esau is about to make a move, man. He's getting ready. He's telling people they can't do what the fuck. You people are finding out real quickly that you can't fly do what if they don't. Do. All right, so lock it. You know, you, for all you people who, who are uh, think, claiming that you're free, all right, and that this is a free country, you know, land, land of the free, it ain't gonna be free for too long. Now you might be say, oh well, you know, we we all gotta get IDs, you know. But soon they're gonna have it mandatory where you get these things for with RFID microchips implanted into you, all right? And there's nothing you can do unless you take that mark. And when you do that, um, you're 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 giving away your your soul, man. You know, you're you're telling the uh, so-called white man, which is Esau, that he owns you. That's what you're doing. You're pledging a, an allegiance, all right? Because only the Most High is supposed to keep track of you. You know. So that's what you're doing. You're, you're you're saying that you're going away from the heavenly Father, and you're saying that uh, these 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 people who rule the world, they're the or run the world at the moment. They're the ones who are your gods. So that's where that that's where that problem lies, man. You know. Yeah, man. It's all over the place, man. Now, y'all can see, man, the, the prophecies are hitting, man.
Got it, man. The prophecies are hitting, man. Americans will soon need real ID to fly. What you need to know. But you know what? You're going to need uh, RFID microchips for everything, man. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> so lucky. I think that's uh so I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get a couple of scriptures, close it out. And I just wanted to update, you know, on this um the spirit of the eyeballs, you know, shy me update, give you a mark of the beast update, you know. Esau is a damn, uh, these new dog breeds. What new dog breeds, man? Esau is a damn mad scientist, man. Just making new shit up. Look, mad scientist. Look at that. Florida man arrested for performing botched castration surgery. Probably did it on purpose. Yeah, so we just gotta get a couple scriptures and close it out. Because we know what this is about. Revelation 13 verse 16 it says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and so you know what like you know first they saying, oh you won't be able to fly from city to city yo it says he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond you see he causes all so this is the beginning of it it says and that he might and that no man might buy or sell do you see how they're telling you that you'll have to have these things this real id in order to 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 uh to fly they just pushing they just saying oh you it's like they just saying oh you gotta have this thing in order to fly but you know what <laughs> they're gonna be like oh you gotta have it in order to do everything then you know what i'm saying and it's gonna go from that so you know what let's just put this shit inside people you know let's let's Yo, people keep losing their real IDs. You know, let's just put it inside you. You won't lose it. And you know, it's a spirit because I um, you know, you know, I noticed the other day when I was in the bathroom, man. You know, and it, the spirit just hit me it was like everything is motion sensor now. You know, you you go to um, use the water to in the bathrooms. You gotta wave your hand by it in order to uh turn the water on. And when you go up to the fucking um the the paper towel dispenser, you gotta wave your hand underneath it in order to get the paper towel out. You know what I'm saying? So every so they're trying to get people uh, used to that motion of waving your your hand, your wrist, and your arms across little little um, receptors and shit. You know what I'm saying? Little sensors. They're trying to get they're trying to get you used to that. You see how that's man? You can man. I, when I did it, I was like, yo, because usually you put your hand under the thing, it'll start up. The water will start up. But this one was different, man. It's this one you had to literally take your hand and wipe it and swipe it across the um the water uh uh the, the sensor and then i noticed you know you're doing the same thing with the paper the paper towel dispensers man they're trying to get you used to that waving your hand by uh um, a device motion you know what i'm saying they're trying to get used to, get you used to that motion like you know i've been doing this look i've been doing it i've been doing it so you know what's what's wrong with me doing this to pay for shit you know or or to um you know to wave my hand across something so it can read my uh my 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 medical uh history or you know little shit like that you know or to park my car you know what i'm saying or to or to get get into my house man and to unlock my doors you know they're trying to get people used to that man do, do y'all not see what's happening all right so wake up man all right that's all i wanted to, to, to say you know to spread your hot and hey we almost out of here man all right Call hello on your life. Yeah, how about shooting y'all shot? By Shimra Kalk and Dodge, double honest to my apostles. And Elder's a great millstone. Shalom to all the, uh, the Akim out there. Alright. While Bob the ball.